Well, there's a new police dog on the streets of Laurel who helps sniff out narcotic drugs and helps find missing people. A Belgian Malinois named Colt was welcomed to the Laurel Police Force last week. Q2's Mitch Leggy introduces us. The Laurel Police Department welcomed its newest member to the force last week. His name, K-9 Officer Colt. He's a 22-month-old Belgian Malinois trained to sniff out narcotic drugs like cocaine, heroin, and methamphetamine. He's also trained to track down missing people. Laurel Officer Jackson Booth is Colt's handler. He spearheaded the idea to bring back the Laurel PD K-9 unit. My goal was to get it done in a year, and my goal was to go to the last uh, K-9 class that I went to in uh, March of 2021. By any means that I believe that goal was going to happen, but I was told to dream big and shoot for the stars, and that's what I did. The Laurel Police Department last had a K-9 unit in 1997, according to Booth. Chief Stan Langvey said the unit just wasn't kept up after the previous dog passed away. Colt is expected to serve for the next eight to nine years. Colt started his life in Europe in the Netherlands, and all of his commands are spoken in Dutch. For him to uh, sit is going to be Sita. Um, for him to find, uh, when we're training everything, for him to find Gifty is what I, is his command to look for narcotics or look for his Gifty. The list goes on and on. The owner of a Pennsylvania working dog importer and training company, Shallow Creek Kennels, picked Colt up from Europe and gave him six weeks worth of training to become a police dog. Booth just got back from four weeks of training in Pennsylvania, learning how to work with Colt. Bullets, um, long hours, uh, very rigorous schools, learning canine medical stuff from learning just goes from your medical all the way down to your tone of how to speak to a dog and make them listen to how you want to, when you want them to perform a certain task. Being a canine officer is a 24-7, 365 on-call job. Officer Booth and Colt could get called out at any hours of the night to assist their fellow officers. Having me and Colt are we're a tool that's there 24-7 that can be called at any time to come help and be an asset to help someone's family that might be in need. Chief Langby said he expects Booth and Colt to be useful to the department and the community by getting drugs off the street. Langby said Laurel's crime is similar to Billings in that calls for theft, violence, or stolen vehicles are mostly precipitated off of drugs, particularly methamphetamine. With that dog, it gives us that opportunity to establish that probable cause to get a warrant and pursue these, these drug cases, whereas before you might have a suspicion, but you have no probable cause to detain them and continue investigation further. Now with this tool, um, we're, we're able to establish that a probable cause and, and get the drugs off the streets. The cost for Colt, the pair's new but used police car, and their training totaled about $50,000. Langby said it wouldn't have been possible without donations from community members and businesses. 100% of the cost, other than a bit of travel expenses, was paid for by donations. Langby said if the donations start to slip to Laurel's K-9 unit, the cost falls back to the department. But he said the department is fully committed to keeping the K-9 unit around for a long time. In Laurel, Mitch Laggy, MTN News. Thanks, Mitch. Details aren't final yet, but within the first two weeks of May, Chief Langby said there's a plan to hold a community meet and greet for Colt at Riverside Park there in Laurel.